How many restaurants closed for the Thanksgiving holiday? One owner decided to keep his doors open. Fox 33's Darren Todd shares more. While many parking lots are usually filled with cars and people waiting on benches to go inside these restaurants, this Thursday wasn't your average day. However, Copeland's New Orleans welcomed families all over to continue to dine in and enjoy occasion taste on this Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, Copeland's traditionally has done Thanksgiving. It was always a time to kind of showcase uh, a Cajun Creole experience. John Mast, who serves as the general manager, says it's a part of their restaurant's history to provide food on Thanksgiving Day. Now that the state is back in phase two of opening, Mass says that this has impacted the restaurant financially. Um, but we did lose several tables. We lost about five to eight tables uh, going back to the 50% capacity. Um, so it did affect today. I mean, I had to send people home. However, he says opening on the holidays and introducing the curbside service has helped tremendously. Um, yeah, I mean, the curbside assistance has been a very big uh, piece of the operation since COVID began, since we reopened this restaurant after the initial um, lockdown. Um, we've gained a tremendous amount, uh, nearly a, we're nearly 28 to 30 percent to go food. People who planned on traveling home took advantage of this time to dine in with close friends and family. We're super thankful that Copeland's was open on Thanksgiving just because we have family in Nashville and in D.C. and so we were able to just come here with us and uh, just have a Thanksgiving meal. Matt says that opening on the holidays allows them to show the community they care. He says they will continue to stay proactive and follow safety procedures as they continue to monitor the phases. In Shreveport, Darren Todd, Fox 33 News. And Copeland's is open every holiday except for Christmas.